hello friends welcome to automation revolution in this video we will learn about very important topic about process industries uh, so the, this topic is about recipe so first uh, we should know about uh, what is recipe and why we are using recipe in uh, process industries so i will uh, give you very simple example of uh, food or chemical industries like if we are uh, talking about any uh, cold drink item like coca cola or pepsi so they have uh, uh, all over world uh, the same quality and quantity and uh, they are making this pro this product since many years still they they have a uh, very very good quality and quantity all over world so how they are maintaining their uh, quality and quantity so behind this they have uh, the recipe formula so for every product and every uh, element they have fixed concentration uh, from their plant and uh, with the uh, help of recipe they are making their product so due to that they are uh, maintaining their quality as well as quantity uh, all over the world so in every uh, food or chemical industries like if we are talking about any uh, rubber industries so they are making tires and different types of uh, rubber element so they have fixed concentration about their element and a procedure so they are uh, using uh, this procedure uh, with the help of recipe so here uh, in this video we will learn how we can configure the recipe uh, in siemens ti software and uh, i will explain you very basic uh, detail about recipe so here i have uh, siemens s7 uh, 300 plc and wincc scada software so i will explain you in uh, ti portal so first we will uh, go for this data block so here uh, you can see i have uh, made two types of recipe for one is for uh, tea making and second one is for color making so you have to uh, add first uh, data block from this uh, add new block so i will take uh, data block for this tea and uh, one i will take for this color so i want two types of recipe uh, in this uh, project now after adding this data block you have to add the element for this recipe so if you are talking about color so there are many th mainly three colors uh, available for red yellow and blue from this three colors we can make multiple colors uh, as per our application or demand so i have taken three types of element so you just uh, click on this button so you will uh, you can add this element and the data type i will take this integer because we are entering uh, this value from recipe or scada that value is in integer so please uh, don't forget about this data type always this recipe data type should be integer also second for uh, recipe about tea so here i have added the element for tea making so you can see this tea powder milk water sugar ginger mint uh, lemon flavor you can add uh, many uh, elements as per your uh, product or uh, taste you can make this element here also i have taken uh, the same data type integer and uh, after taking this data block uh, we will go for uh, scada so here you can see i have taken wincc rt advance and uh, from this rt advance uh, we will go for this recipe so here is the option just click on recipe so here uh, you will get uh, two windows sub so side uh, this recipe name should be uh, display here and down side we will add the element and a data record for the recipe so just click on uh, this add new so here you can make the recipe name and the display name should be same because while we are going in run time for scada the same name uh, you will get here so i have added two types of name uh, colors and tea the two types of recipe we have so for the color uh, i will add element so here i will uh, add this element the same element what we have taken in data block you can see so here in uh, color data type i have taken red yellow and blue element for the recipe also i will take red yellow and uh, blue the display display name also must be same and uh, now here tag so i will uh, connect the same tag from the data block so i will open this color data block and uh, i will add the same element with this name so yellow you can connect with the same 
tag from the data block yellow so same i have added every element with this uh, element and here this data type will display automatically integer and uh, this length minimum and maximum value would be uh, 32768 because here we are taking uh, this data type in uh, two word so uh, for that this minimum and maximum uh, value we are getting in uh, this unscaling value so while we are uh, making logic in plc programming that time uh, we need to uns un unscaling for this value so that we will see later on now after adding this element uh, here beside this element one option is about data record so from this element how many data record you want how many product you want to make so that we have to add here so you can see from this uh, three uh, main three colors we can make different types of color like pink orange green violet magenta whatever color you want you can make thousands of color from this three color and the, so here you can this add new and uh, you can make different types of this color from this uh, element and the display name also i have taken same here red yellow and three uh, blue three colors are there and you can add the concentration value whatever you want so uh, if you want to make this pink so 90 percent i will add this red color and 10 percent i will add this yellow color here i have add, uh, added this value in integer but in plc logic we have to unscale this value so right now i am taking this value uh, out of uh, 32768 so from uh, there i will add only 90 value if you want to make orange so you can take uh, this element concentration if you want to make uh, green so you can make concentration as per green so uh, these are the uh, concentration value to make this data record if we talk about the t for the t also i have taken the different types of element tea powder milk the same element i have taken in data block also so you can see data block we have taken this all element and then in recipe we will add the same tag connection with this data block so from this t data block we will add tea powder then milk then water sugar ginger every element uh, we will add with this uh, data block and then data record so from this element how um, how many data record you want uh, for making any t so uh, as per uh, special uh, special applications we can make special tea uh, ginger tea mint tea lemon tea black tea you can make different types of tea if you have uh, the same element for the purpose and uh, here same for this color you can add different types of concentration so for tea powder milk water sugar if you want to make a uh, ginger then you have to add the concentration or uh, the value for uh, ginger tea making if you want to make mint then you can see uh, i have added this mint value here okay if you want lemon tea so you can add so this type of you can uh, add this value you can change the value from scada also that we will see in runtime so after adding this uh, element and data record we will go for screen so in uh, screen i have added one screen and i have renamed for recipe so in blank window we will take recipe view so from this control uh, you will get a recipe view so here is the option for recipe you just drag and drop so you will get this window and from this window we can see in runtime now i will take navigation button from home screen so recipe i have already taken if you have not taken just drag and drop recipe button and from recipe i will drag this home button so for this button i have taken for navigation and uh, just click on this recipe view and downside you will get property so you can uh, if you want to view only one recipe so you can add this recipe from here but if you want uh, 
if you want to see uh, multiple recipes don't uh, tag any recipes here i want to see both the recipes so i have not uh, tag tagged any uh, means uh, recipe now you can change the appearance border color style and the tool tip if you want so here you will get this tool tip so you can make these changes now after adding this uh, data block i will add two different functions why we have taken this functions because uh, whatever value we are adding from the recipe that will ultimately uh, effect on final control element like proportional wall or some motor or some logic will execute behind this uh, recipe value so whatever logic uh, you want uh, for the fixed processor that logic you can take here so i have taken move block and uh, from this move block you can take uh, the data block value and here and uh, from this uh, uh, data block value you can move in uh, some memory or you can uh, move in some final control element so this is for only understanding you can make a different logic as per processor here and this is for t uh, so whatever any processor logic behind this t making you can write down here so two types of functions i have taken here you can add this function from this uh, option now uh, we will download this logic in plc and uh, from scada we will go on runtime so i will click on this runtime button so we will switch to recipe view so now in a uh, recipe view uh, here you can get recipe name so i will select recipe name from here and uh, this is data record so if you want like uh, this orange color so you can see here downside this uh, red yellow and blue concentration uh, will appear automatically and uh, if you want to change this value you can click here and you can change the value here if you want to change here and after changing this value you just uh, click on this button so this value will be downloaded in plc so i will click on uh, this button so you can see transfer completed uh, this message will appear here and uh, you can save this data record so now we'll see in uh, plc so we'll go for this color and uh, i will make monitoring on so that value we, what we have trans transferred from this uh, uh, this recipe view that will appear here so you can see here uh, the value we have changed for red yellow and blue color that will appear here and that value will move in this logic so here in uh, color making that value will be moved in this uh, mw50 you can see here we have taken for blue color so same is uh, same like the blue color the red color and uh, this yellow color also will move in some another memory or output uh, addressing now uh, if i want uh, recipe for this t so once again i will go for this runtime and here once again we'll go for recipe view and uh, we'll go for this t so you can see uh, there are different uh, element uh, for this t and uh, from that element i will select like uh, uh, main t so here you can add or you can change this value if you want t powder so i will add 50 t powder i will add 15 and you can change this value 11 flavor we don't want i want this mint so i will increase this mint flavor and then click on download button so that value will be moved into plc now and this click on the save button so this value is uh, transport into plc now uh, we will see in plc area so once again we will move to this data block and i'll make monitoring on so you can see uh, I, we have selected the value for this mint so the same value will be transported in a data block and this data block will move this value into function
so here we have developed a different logic uh, to make t or any color so that that will execute in uh, background of the plc so this is how we can make uh, this recipe uh, for process industries for food chemical oil oil gas sectors or different types of product we can make uh, for maintaining the quality and the quantity so thank you very much for watching our video mm -hmm.